right, so we're back here. This time what we want to do is I want to show you how to get the microbit connected to your Scratch program so we can use the accelerometer for our joystick to control how fast and what direction our sprite's going to go. Now, if you don't have a microbit, don't panic. I'm going to have in the Scratch Studio for this project a program that operates the sprite using the microbit, another program that uses a makey makey, and one that just uses your mouse pointer. So there'll be three versions in here. So if you see this part, or like, I don't have a microbit, bummer, all's not lost, just go into the studio and you can see the code for the mouse pointer and you're going to be in good shape. And so the first thing, if you haven't used it before, I'm not going to explain how to install everything, but just a couple things that are going to be really important that I overlooked the first time. When you go up here to scratch.mit.edu backslash microbit, it literally walks you through step by step everything you need. So you choose your, your operating system. You're going to download the scratch link, which is actually sitting right here for me. It's, it's turned on and you're going to see that there in the picture. Once you have that installed, this is what I overlooked the first time. I couldn't get it to work. You have to download this Scratch microbit code, this hex file, and you need to drag that onto your microbit. This allows your microbit to communicate to your Scratch program um, via Bluetooth. So make sure you download that and then make sure you install it into the microbit. And then once you're up and running, um, it's going to notify you um, when you get to your program when you go to click down here for your extensions, when you click on the micro bit, it's going to attempt to connect. As you're going to see here, mine's already connected. Uh, so here, let me disconnect here and then I can show you what happens. So I'm going to go here down to extensions. You click micro bit. It's going to search now. As long as you have it turned on, that program running, you're going to find your guy. You hit connect. And then, boom, then you can go to your editor where you are. And that's how you get it rocking and rolling. Now, here is what we do for the code um, to get this thing working with the accelerometer of the micro bit. So I'm here with my sprite, my monkey. And what I've done is when you click on that extension, you're going to get all these really cool micro bit display box. And so all I've done is I've wiped out the mouse pointer control in my sprite code here. And under the co color schemes, I've put in these if blocks. And so I've put in if, you know, one of these, these blocks right here. And then what I've installed next to it then was the micro bit button right here. Um, and what it is that we wanted to do if tilted. And so we can pick here, um, if tilted to the front, we got back, left, or right. Then what we want it to do, we're going to change the Y of our sprite by 1. This is going to have your sprite go up the screen, uh, moving in upward fashion. If we tilt back, then it's going to go back negative 1. And then to the right, we're going to go X1. And to the left is x is a negative one. So when we go to run this, I'm gonna actually delete this out here. And I know you can't see me play. I'll get a video of this soon for you to watch. I can now control my sprite by moving my micro bit. If I tilt it forward, you can either go forward, there's backwards, and there's to the right. And there's to the left. And so now, once we navigate this maze, we're in good shape here. And it's going to take us, you know, to the next level for us to continue to do our work. So the pr thing that's cool with this is you get to see how it works. What this code here does not allow us to do is to be competitive. What I mean by that is we eventually want to get a scoreboard on here. We want to make it where you can be more aggressive and move faster. But at least this code here allows you to see how the micro bit works. So what we want to do next is change this. Once you get making sure your micro bit works, make sure you understand how it feels and get it where the speed is going to change based on the amount of tilt of the micro bit. And so the way we're going to do that is pretty straightforward. What we want to do here 
is as opposed to changing by 1 or negative 1, we're going to go down here to our operators. And if you have a better way, feel free to reach out and share. But this is what's been working for me, and I'm sure there's maybe a better way. Um, but we're going to go here now. We're going to put this multiplication. You could do div division. I just like to multiply. Um, and what we're going to do is add this right here, the tilt angle. We're going to change the y by the tilt angle. Now, what you're going to realize, oh, lost my variable block there, is this tilt angle is super fast. So what I mean by that is we're going to have to do some division or multiplication and division. So let's just keep this at 1 for now so you can see what I mean. So check this out. If we just move the y, oh darn it. So if we move the y going forward just by the tilt angle, watch how crazy fast this is. Like it's actually unplayable. Um, I mean, it's just it's just way too crazy fast. And so you can play around with the speed that you want. For me, um, I like going at just 10% of the rate at which the tilt angle is. So now when I go to control here, I've got some options, but I can go fast. And I can do some other things here as I get navigating. So what I want to do now is just continue to do this block right here for all of them. So I'm actually just going to drag this out. And I'm going to drag this guy down. And now I want to... Gotta make this a negative 10. So let's just make sure that that works. No, nope, that's not working, is it? It's taking me forward. Oh, that's because I've got this front here. We need to make this back. Alright, let's try this again here. So there's forward, and there's back. Alright, there we go. So that negative worked pretty well. And now we're just going to change this down here. And we're going to change our X. And we just got to make sure we make those negative as well. So we're just going to drop down here the tilt angle. We want to make sure we switch that to the right. There we go. And then one more. Make this left. And then we want to make sure this is a negative so it goes the opposite way negative 0.1. So now we have control based on how much we tilt our controller um, to control our sprite going forward. Alright, so let's get in here and add some new uh, layers to this game here.